Hello, my friends, this is Eric Parker with One Number Tableau Experts. In this week's quick tip Tableau video, we're gonna look at what is the difference in process between refreshing a direct or sometimes called live connection Tableau desktop versus refreshing an extracted connection, okay? So in both of these cases, I'm connecting to a file that's on my desktop. It's called Credit Card Contestations. Um, currently, it's just a thousand rows of data. They're all taking place in the state of California. Okay, um, I've got the same connection twice. Once is a direct connection to that Excel file. Once is an extract that I already created. If you haven't created an extract before, the very quick is you right click on a data source connection, extract data, set it up the way you want. Um, we'll drop a video link down below if you wanna dive really deep into extracts, how to create them, how to automate them, have them refresh, you know, all that good stuff. You can check that out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, I've just got that output coming out of Tableau Prep. Um, I am going to update a filter, which is currently restricting the data to only California. If I remove that and run this again, then it will give me data for Washington State as well. I'm hoping this doesn't give me an error when I select this. Uh, we'll find out. Let's hit run and see. It says, do you wanna replace the existing file? Yes, I do. Yay, let me do it. Okay. So now there should be also a thousand rows for Washington in addition to California, all right? So this direct connection, if I right click on this and select refresh, yay, all right, our 1000 rows of Washington data showed up. So it did, it went back to the file, you know, refresh the connection, we're good to go. Um, oh no, I did it in the wrong place. Uh, I did these backwards. This is supposed to be my direct connection. Oh my gosh, you guys, okay, bear with me here. So here's our direct connection and then uh, direction. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind over here. Okay, let's do our extracted connection. My bad. I used the same data source twice. Slap my own wrists here. So same idea. States going to rows. Contentation counts going to text. Okay, now this is using the extracted connection. My bad. So if I right click and select refresh on this, um, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is not going to work. So watch this. If I say refresh, I mean, it did refresh, but nothing happened. So why didn't it happen? Well, Tableau interprets what we did there. When we right click and we say refresh, Tableau interprets that as us saying, refresh the extract file, okay? This extract is not actually changing. The actual data is an Excel file. The extract is like an additional file that Tableau created. Um, it allows us to work against the data offline. It's more efficient but you're te you technically don't have a direct connection anymore. So this is very confusing. This is not the refresh that you wanna use for an extract. What you actually wanna do is go to this little extract breakout here, and in that breakout menu, there's a refresh option. If we select that, that will allow the extract to look back to the original data source, in this case, an Excel file, but you know it could be a table in a SQL database or any number of different types of data sources. So if we do this extract and refresh, it's gonna say, hey, you know, the contents of the extract will be replaced. You sure you wanna do that? Yes. There we go. Now our Washington uh, values are showing up. So I guess the sort of the moral of this story is if you have a direct connection, totally fine to right click and refresh your data through here. If you have an extract and you want that to update with new records, you need to go to the extract menu and hit refresh there. So hope that helps. Um, if you check out this info button up here in the top corner of your screen, uh, Ollie and I run Tableau classes every single month. We teach Tableau prep, we teach Tableau desktop, design, dashboarding, calculations, all different number of things. So in YouTube, we only get a few minutes usually to cover a topic, but in those classes, we get anywhere from eight to 16 hours of time together. So we get to dive really deep. There's hands-on practices. There's the ability to discuss things back and forth. It's all live. Uh, we would love to have you uh, join for one of those. So feel free to check those out. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. And we drop new content like this every week here on YouTube. So feel free to follow along for more. Uh, can't wait to see you again soon. Thanks.